the busy spring travel season taking off in a turbulent week for the airlines. United Airlines apologizing. They told the flight attendant twice. Southwest Airlines facing questions tonight. Yeah, you the guys decision's been made. Flight? This father kicked off a Southwest flight after trying to calm down his daughter, who is reportedly afraid of flying. I think he asked you if he could have a minute to calm her down. Well, we've got an incident on board, possible belligerent passenger. We're going to be returning to Alpha 16, please. Oh, no more discussion. We're back at the gate. Even though the child had calmed down, they are still asked to leave the plane. Because she's sitting. She's been sitting for the last five minutes. Fellow passengers can be heard defending them to no avail. Finally, the father gives up and they're escorted off the plane. Leaving Southwest with this. I'm glad you screwed up everyone today. The airline in a statement saying, we always aim for a welcoming and hospitable experience and regret the inconvenience to all involved, adding that the traveling party was booked on the next flight and that they plan to reach out to the customer about any concerns. If you have a child or a baby or a pet um, that is causing some sort of commotion, that in and of itself is never the reason for you to be kicked off of an airplane. But it does uh, cause a situation where flight attendants are having to manage the situation of everyone on board, and sometimes that can escalate to other problems. And a bumpy week for another airline. Just days ago, a pair of pet-related airborne incidents brought heartache to two families traveling on United. He was a member of our family. He was like my brother to me. On Monday, a family boarded a flight from Houston to New York. Their French bulldog, Coquito, traveling in a soft kennel with his family. We were going to put him under the seat. And then the flight attendants came. She said, but you have to put him up there because it's going to block the path. And we're like, it's a dog, it's a dog. And she's like, it doesn't matter. You still have to put it up there. Coquito, just a puppy, reportedly barked softly during the first part of the flight, then stopped. When the plane landed at LaGuardia, after three hours, the family discovered the grim reality. She took him out and opened the thing, and then she got the dog, and he was dead. <laughs> Coquito had died in the overhead bin during the flight. Attempts at resuscitation unsuccessful. It's a case where one person makes a mistake and the other cabin attendants really should have taken that person aside and say, wait a minute, this is not a smart thing to do. Let's find another place for that dog so that nothing terrible happens. United's own policy and that of every other major airline states that animals should be put in kennel bags under the seat in front of them. United telling ABC News their flight attendant did not hear or understand there was a dog in the bag and did not knowingly place the dog in the overhead bin. Everyone feels terrible about this event, including the flight attendant who was directly involved. There's absolutely no way that someone could tell someone to put a dog up there if they really understood that a dog was in that bag. Clearly the flight attendant didn't understand in that moment, and so we need to really look at that because this was a tragic event that we can't ever let happen again. And starting next month, United announcing it will issue brightly colored tags to passengers flying with animals, easily recognizable to flight attendants. Oh, this would be our worst nightmare happening. And on Tuesday, this 10-year-old pooch named Ergo was loaded onto a flight from Oregon to Kansas, normally a three-and-a-half-hour trip, but ending up on a 12-hour flight to Tokyo, Japan. For him to be traveling this long is killing me because I know he's going through hell right now because he's obviously not used to this. When Ergo's owner, Kara Swindle, went to pick him up, she was met with a Great Dane instead. And the minute I said, Ergo, up popped this great big Great Dane instead of my German Shepherd. I was in instant tears. According to the airline, the mix-up occurred during a connection in Denver, where the two dogs were accidentally placed in the wrong carriers after being walked. United sending her photos of Ergo arriving safe and sound in Japan then flew him back on a company jet to a very excited family. The airline tells ABC News they apologize for this mistake and are investigating the mishap. These most recent incidents happening less than a year after that stunning video of Dr. David Dow being forcibly removed from a United flight set the internet on fire. He can be seen visibly shaken as he's yanked out of his seat. His face bloodied, dragged down the aisle and off the flight by law enforcement after refusing to give up his seat. No, this is not 
This is wrong. Oh my God! Look at what you did to him. Dow and United later reached a settlement after he sued the airline and United announcing a series of changes to improve customer experience in the wake of the incident. The skies are not as friendly as they used to be, simply because airplanes are more crowded, there are fewer people on the airplane to take care of everyone, and there is a considerable amount of uh, pressure on the airlines to operate on an on-time basis. With spring break in full swing, many hoping to fly the clear and friendlier skies. For Nightline, I'm Whit Johnson in New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.